We have a fiscal framework of some of 1 trillion, 147 billion, 780 million, 610,283 naira, comprising distributable revenue of 510.3 billion and non-distributable revenue of 637.4 billion, which has been proposed for the LCT 2024 statutory budget after due deliberations with all the revenue generating agencies of the LCT. Also taken into consideration the parameters highlighted in paragraph 8 above. Now, when you compare the revised 2023 appropriation of the sum of 641 billion, there's an increase of the sum of 506 billion, which is 44% in the 2024 statutory budget proposal. The increase is as a result of the expected loan from the commercial bank since we have exited. Paragraph 13 talks about the personal cost, which is 140.9 billion, representing 12.2% is proposed for personal costs for the year 2024. Compared to an appropriation of the sum of 99.5 in the year 2023, this shows an increase of the sum of 41.3 billion. That is 29 percent as against the revised 2023 appropriation. The increase is to accommodate the emolument of the appointed mandate secretaries and other political appointees of the administration, payment of staff promotion areas, peculiar allowances, staff wage award areas, and AEBPB conference areas, which is 11 months. And of course, the expected uh, minimum uh, wage increase. We have to presume that so that we don't come back to begin to say, oh, we never knew. We are already aware of the discussion of the minimum uh, wage uh, increase. A quick overview of the 2024 capital expenditure and the budget estimate as follows. The sum was 726.3 billion, representing 63.28 is proposed as capital expenditure for the year 2024 for the development of infrastructure with emphasis on completion of ongoing projects. This shows 44% increase over the 2023 reverse appropriation of the sum of 406.2 billion. Out of proposed capital expenditure, the sum of 80 billion is for Sokuk loan projects. The sum of 29 billion is for Abuja light rail project and some of 500 billion for commercial loans planned to complete some ongoing capital projects in FCC and satellite towns, while the balance sum of 117.3 billion is dedicated to the completion of the ongoing capital project and other counterpart funded related projects aimed at enhancing socioeconomic activities of the FCT. For the capital expenditure, the FCDA is allocated the sum of 457 billion and the STD the sum of 116 billion, while other SDAs allocated the balance of 153.3 billion for their capital expenditure to address critical areas like ongoing road construction, completion of water treatment plant, and other related facilities. Security in FCT, the appointment of chairman and members of FCT Civil Service Commission, the appointment of FCT Head of Service, and permanent secretaries in fulfillment of running of FCT like a state as provided by section 299 of the constitution as amended is also most commended. We therefore salute the vision and the commitment of the Honorable Minister FCT and that of the Honorable Minister of State in this direction. While wishing all very fruitful deliberation on the FCT 2024 Appropriation Act. I thank you all for the attention. May God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria.